Joining me live is lawyer and author, Professor David Crane, who was the founding chief prosecutor of the Special Court for Sierra Leone. David, thanks so much for your time. Really appreciate it. It's hard to know uh, what to start with at, at this point. There, uh, uh, Look, uh, it, it's hard to watch what's going on in Gaza at the moment, but if we just stick to, I guess, the, the strict international law of this, um, what is your view of what is going on there? Well, this is a situation where, in large measure, it's uh, it's uh, a lose-lose for all parties. Uh, your viewers have to understand that there is a rule of law in the battlefield called the laws of armed conflict, where we try to minimize uh, the, the terrible aspects of conflict and to protect those found on the battlefield. And one of the cornerstones of this is uh, uh, that civilians can never be intentionally targeted or civilian objects and protected places like hospitals cannot be targeted. Uh, Israel uh, normally follows the laws of armed conflict, but it has uh, been drawn into a situation where we have a terrorist group hiding behind Palestinians, civilians, uh, as human shields uh, in the most densely populated part of the earth. And so uh, anything that Israel does, good or bad, it's a, it, it reflects negatively uh, on them because we have massive civilian casualties. So uh, this is going to end badly for both sides. Yeah, so this is the complication, isn't it? Uh, Israel wouldn't be targeting places like hospitals or refugee camps if they weren't trying to get to uh, military targets like Hamas leaders. What does international law say about that grey area? Well, it's really, in some ways, not a, a gray area. I've sat in targeting committees uh, myself when I was a serving officer in the United States, both as a legal advisor and as a, as a special operations officer. And uh, you have to look at the target. Is it militarily necessary to target that, such as a Hamas leader? However, you have to balance that to where that individual is, uh, and they are in a refugee camp where there are hundreds of civilians uh, moving about. And uh, I've been in situations where I've advised not to target that uh, situation because uh, we have too many civilians. So there is a there is a responsibility to uh, to protect civilians and to care for them and to balance uh, your targeting based on uh, the number of civilian casualties, if there are any. And so I think uh, that just because a Hamas leader happens to be in a tunnel uh, below the uh, below this refugee camp, essentially using them as human shields. Uh, I think Israel crossed the line here when they when they targeted uh, that particular individual and also mm. uh, uh, killed and wounded uh, dozens and dozens of civilians. That is a target that should not have been uh, uh, used uh, uh, by ordinance. It should not have been targeted at all. So they've crossed the line uh, and uh, it's 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 a it's a terrible situation. It certainly is. So, Professor, just to clarify, Israel struck that camp twice, and you think they have crossed the line there? They have. Uh, again, you have to you know, have to be proportional in your response uh, to a military target. Uh, there are four principles in the laws of armed conflict: uh, military necessity being the the principal one, but also mm. when you're targeting something, it has to be a proportional response, and you have an obligation to protect civilians. Uh, but you also have to be discriminate in uh, what you're shooting at, and also you have to. Uh, particularly follow the principle of unnecessary suffering. So uh, the, they balanced uh, uh, the target versus civilian casualties, and I think that they made a, an incorrect decision on this one, both times. Yeah. Professor David Crane, thanks so much for your time. I appreciate it. My pleasure to be with you.